This is my old Aurac lathe which I've uh, converted about 10 years ago using the original stepper motors, district, removing all of the uh, internal electronics except uh, the power supply and fitted a PMDX breakout board uh, a means of detecting the RPM using a cutout on the spindle at the back and um, I've been using that with the parallel port uh, for some time and not had really any problems but I kind of got in interested to see whether it might be possible to upgrade my computer to a, a more up-to-date laptop uh, using a USB converter so I bought the UC100 which um, has turned out to be absolutely amazingly good it is the best method of controlling the lathe altogether than using a parallel port it runs so much faster everything on the lathe works better the stepper motors whiz along at a much faster rate than they did before even though they're relatively small old motors now and um, it really doesn't seem to be any downside to it at all uh, all I had to do then was to think about well do I run it on a laptop so I tried it on a Windows 8 laptop and it ran fine uh, and then I thought well why don't I try running it on a tablet and I bought an extremely cheap Lynx 10 inch screen tablet which is this what I have here and have been frankly astonished that it will work on it uh, it's running Windows 10 I've had to shut off all of the uh, updating programs as one would expect um, and really um, apart from having to load um, Windows uh, .NET 2.0 and um, some updated drivers really didn't have to do very much else now the screens that I've been using for years have been Novatex lathe screens which never got fully updated and really could have done with um, improving quite a bit um, so for using it on the tablet with my finger I have to make the buttons a little bit bigger so I reworked the whole of the screen so I removed everything that I found was unnecessary and just included uh, the item so that I could run uh, basic programs uh, using single tools from the front screen only so I don't need to use the second screen at all and then if I want to use um, tools I put a flowchart in in the tool table section which is here um, and that enables me to run through setting up the master tool first in this section then setting up each tool in turn in uh, repeat performance till I've got them all set up and then a final probe to the end of the stock now here you'll see I've got probes set up and that's a repeat of what I have in this section here um, I probe the uh, chuck and the work to set the tool which is so much easier than messing about trying to figure out when the tools actually reached a particular spot it took me a while to get all of the programming to run but it does now run uh, various bits uh, plugged into it including um, a means of jogging which I use now the Shuttle Pro V2 which is excellent and I've got all the buttons to configure me to allow me to play, to play the programs, stop the programs, rewind turn the, the spindle on and off and reset it all from using the Shuttle Pro um, OK, I'm just about to run the probe test and uh, just to show you how the lathe is set up the tool will hit that spot there which is concentric uh, with the centre line of the lathe I've already mic'd it up with a, a dial gauge right now I'm just jogging the Z along until I get to that spot 
and I'll just touch off just to make sure that it, it is yeah it is lighting up the LED so that, that is working so if I press that it zeroes the DRO and then advances the tool in until it reaches the chuck and then it backs off it's reached the chuck and it backs off 10 millimeters but of course that's 20 millimeters in diameter and then it sets it to the chuck which is uh, 125.23 plus those 20 millimeters making 145.23 uh, when I set this up I made sure that the chuck um, was uh, set at 100 it was accurately measured at 125.23 I machined something and then checked with the setting and adjusted it slightly until I got it to cut absolutely perfectly. And I probe into the stock at the end. Okay, that's zeroed on the x-axis and it's set dip bang on the centre line by probing. Having loaded up uh, the part uh, after having jogged, I'm just about to set this off. It's only a short program and it'll just confirm that the lathe will work perfectly well. I'm cutting in free air just to save machining anything. Um, and I moved the z-axis a little bit further along I've got my rapid jog set a bit too fast really um, but that's a pleasure after having had it before If I hold the camera up, you can see how quickly it's moving to give an idea of how it's controlling the tool. Okay, that's finished doing that machining. Actually, that part really should have had a, a boring bar in, but never mind. At least it shows that everything's controlled properly. I can now demonstrate um, using the spindle from the keypad. And uh, perhaps I'll just also uh, shut this off and just show you how fast it, this is on the uh, moving up and down the lathe.
Okay, I'll now go and um, set up and fire a second video off showing how the um, tool table works.